guys, it's Jessie and I am so ready for summer to be over. Oh, it's so hot. So this weekend I was doing some cleaning. I needed to clean out the closet in my makeup room here because I just redid my closet and I needed just some extra space for some, you know, like overnight bags, like some bigger bags. I just don't have room for it in my closet anymore. So I needed to clean out this closet. And while I was doing that, I realized I had a lot of makeup I needed to kind of throw out that I've been meaning to throw away. So I did that. And so in the process of that, I found a whole bunch of makeup that I kind of forgot about. You know, it happens, you get new toys, you forget about the old toys. So as I was cleaning out and I came across things that I had really just forgotten that I had, uh, I threw it all in this basket and I decided to do a look today using all of my forgotten favorites. Because most of the stuff in here is stuff that I like, truly loved, couldn't live without probably a year, 18 months ago. And just as time has gone by, it's get, you know gotten pushed further and further back. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Oh my God, I have so much stuff in here. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so to start, I found a primer that I honestly had forgotten that I even had this still. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I was really into this primer for quite a while, but it is so freaking expensive, which is why it's shocking that I still have some left in this because this stuff is so expensive that I will use it down to the last squeeze. Oh, nose. For foundation, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I think when I first started my channel, like I was so obsessed with these infallible foundations. I really love the Pro Glow. I actually need to pick up a new Pro Glow, um, but this is the Pro Matte. And so it's not just makeup that I have that I forgot about. I also have a couple of tools that I kind of forgot about. Uh, so to apply my foundation, I'm going to be using this Forgotten Treasure. This is the Real Techniques sponge. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the Miracle Sponge or something like that. This was so popular for a while there as an alternative to the Beauty Blender. But I feel like then Morphe started coming out with sponges. Like everybody started coming out with sponges. And I don't know. And everyone just stopped using this. I used to buy a lot of Real Techniques brushes because they were so cheap. When I first started getting into makeup, I would go to Ulta and get the Real Techniques brushes. I still have a few of them. I still use a few of them. But I feel like now there's a lot more options for cheaper brushes that are really well made. So I don't buy them as much. So I don't know if it's that foundation, the sponge, or just the combination, but this base looks so good. I actually like this sponge more now than I remember liking it in the past. It's weird. So for concealer, I've been obsessed with this Tarte Shape Tape since it came out. I try and use other concealers and I just always go back to the Tarte because I just feel like it's the best. Um, so for my forgotten concealer, I have the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer. I got this, I think, when I did a full Maybelline makeup look. I think that was when I got it. Um, and I think it's an amazing dupe and obviously a much cheaper dupe for the Shape Tape. But I just end up always reaching for my Shape Tape. I'm such a hoarder, it's so hard for me to like throw stuff away, even stuff I don't use. But I was very brave. I threw away a lot of my foundations. Especially the drugstore ones, like I had drugstore foundations that I honestly hadn't used in a year, a year and a half. And I don't really feel guilty about throwing those away because if I want to get them again, they're pretty cheap to pick back up. But I was brave. I finally threw away my Armani Luminous Silk foundation. It was old. It was time. It really, it needed to go, but it was sad. That was my favorite foundation for so long. I just feel like so many new foundations have come out like since that was everybody's holy grail foundation. But I still love it. I still might pick up a new one at some point. We'll see. 
For powder, I have a product. I think I only used it once, maybe twice. I bought it for a video uh, because everybody raves about this powder. Although I feel like lately everyone's kind of moved past this. I don't see that many people using it anymore. Um, and that is the Cody Airspun powder. Patrick Starr was the one who kind of got me onto this because he was using it in like every single one of his videos and a lot of other people used it too. This has just been sitting on my shelf forever and I, it got kind of tucked behind some other stuff so I kind of forgot about it. I think it also had a smell that I thought was kind of weird. It kind of smells like baby powder. For my eyes, I have a palette that was one of my first Morphe palettes. I think this was the second Morphe palette that I bought. And I remember like when it went on sale, I remember buying it. It was when Morphe used to put things on sale at like midnight Pacific time. So I literally like woke up at 3 a.m., set an alarm, woke up at 3 a.m., like rolled out of bed, tried to order it. I think there was an issue and I ended up having to wait, but I like tried to order it at 3 a.m. And that is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette. This was like seriously the only makeup palette I used for so long. And I just, I love it so much. And honestly what I love most about this palette was all these like neutral browns. Like I love kind of bronzy neutral brown looks, duh. And so I use this palette a lot. Um, but as time went on, you know, the Jaclyn Hill palette came out and I bought some other Morphe palettes and just got some other eyeshadow palettes. You know, it happens. This is another one that keeps getting like pushed further and further back, but I do really like it. So I thought I would use that today. And I finally went in and cleaned all my makeup brushes this weekend also. So I have a whole set of clean brushes. It's so nice. Uh, for my transitional color, I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm kind of interested. I haven't used this palette in so long. I'm kind of interested to see how these shadows compare to like the new Morphe shadows and like the new vault. I'm also going to go in a little bit with this shade, which is more corally. Just bring some kind of pinky tone into it. I don't really want this super orangey yellow. For my lid, I think I'm going to go into both of these shades. I want to do something I don't normally do, which is where I do like a really dark lid. So I just used that shade. Next, I'm going to go into this one on top of that. It's kind of a shimmer purpley color. I feel like these shadows are definitely like just as pigmented as the new ones, but I feel like the new ones are creamier, maybe a little bit more blendable. I'm gonna go back in with the original brush and a little bit more of that coral color just to kind of blend everything together. And then in the center of my lid, I'm gonna go in with my finger and pick up a little bit of this shade over here. And then I'm just gonna take a smaller blending brush and go back in with a little bit more of the purple to pack that in a little bit better. Okay, next I'm just gonna wipe away the excess powder. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of the Maybelline Dream Wonder powder which has more color to it, just to make sure that I'm not looking too ghostly since that airspun powder is very translucent. I go in with another powder that has a little bit of color to it. And then just quickly, I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm gonna take some of that same purple color on the same brush that I'm taking the shimmer shade since the other one is a little red and I don't like putting red underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna take my bigger fluffy brush and go into a little bit of that first coral shade to blend that out a little bit too. I look a little bit dead. Hopefully I won't look like this when I get the mascara and eyeliner on. <laughs> to line my lower waterline, I have the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner. This one is in the shade Cry Baby, which is a really fun kind of bright lavender color. I 
I love these eyeliners. I have an entire like display of them on my shelf of the liners and my um, lippy sticks. These were like some of the original products from ColourPop that I absolutely loved. Um, it's just, once again, like I end up gravitating towards my like black and brown and purple and dark purple eyeliners that I keep up here and I don't end up doing a lot with like you know some of the fun color ones that I got. I have this, I have blue, I have yellow, I have white, I have I bought all the crazy ColourPop colors because they're like five dollars and I thought they were so much fun. Still do, I just don't use them as much. But I'm gonna use this one today. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational Curvitude. Uh, I used this in my mascara showdown. It performed, I think I think it performed pretty well if I remember correctly. Uh, it's just one, I have like so many mascaras and so I stick to the same like three mascaras all the time. So this one does get forgotten about. Mascara is one of those products that I'm constantly forgetting what I have. Cause I'm always trying out new mascaras. Okay, I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera with a product that I 100% completely forgot about. And that is the Ofra Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Universal. Um, I think I got this in an Ipsy like a long time ago and I really loved it for a while. I used it all the time. It was a great alternative to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's like a super waxy pencil, which I actually really like. Um, it just, you know, it changed up my brow routine, got new brow products, the brow definer came out, I got hooked on that. For bronzer, I have a product that I was, oh my god, so obsessed with for so long. And that is the MAC Shade Stir uh, Sculpt and Shape Powder. Jaclyn Hill was really obsessed with this for a while, and I feel like you could only get it in the duo, which is why I got it in this duo. I think you can get the straight up pan in the Shade Stir. But like my Max Sora never had it in stock and so I just got the duo. I have never used this light side. I have only used the bronzer. Might be a little dry out. I don't know, we'll see. This was honestly probably like one of my first forays into bronzer. Honestly might try and see if I can still get the full size of the shade stir because I really do love it. I think it's like the most natural color. It's such a good contour color, love it. For blush, I don't even remember what brand this is. That was always my dilemma with this because it came in an Ipsy, but it wasn't listed in the products that I got in my Ipsy, so I could never figure out what it was. I did finally figure out the brand a couple months ago because they came up with something else I don't remember. But once again, I don't remember what it is. I'll try and find it and list it in the description down below. But that is this really pretty blush. I use this all the time, like when I first started this channel. It's just like the perfect neutral blush that I never knew what it was. For highlight, I feel like I was so obsessed with these last summer and since the ABH Amrezy um, highlighter came out and since I discovered the Makeup Revolution uh, highlighter that I love, I feel like these have just been sitting gathering dust but I still absolutely love them. I think they're gorgeous. This is the Milani Sun Glow Strobe Light Powder. Instant Glow Powder. Oh my God, I was really hooked on this because I felt like it had the most natural highlight. I still feel that way. I just am hooked on the ABH one. To line my lips, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Purely Nude. I feel like I have, hello, is this dried out? I feel like I have a fair amount of nude lip liners um, and I have so many that I end up forgetting about some and this is definitely one that I didn't even remember I had. And also one that I should probably throw away because it's kind of dried out. For lipstick, I have another Milani product that I think I picked up from the drugstore over a year ago. I was really into these lipsticks for a while. This is in the shade Matte Naked. 
for quality products at a low price, I love Milani. I am a little bit of a lipstick hoe. I buy a lot of lipsticks and forget about them, especially nude ones. I feel like I'm just constantly buying nude lipsticks. I feel like there are probably like 20 lipsticks that I could go through and find and be like, oh my God, I completely forgot about this. But this one is really pretty. I should use this more. I say that every time I find something that I like, I should use this more. And then over top of that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Revlon Supernatural Lip Gloss. Um, I discovered these I think like a year or so ago, I never wear lip gloss, um, but I really love the formula of these. They're not sticky at all. And basically I've forgotten about this because once again, I just don't end up wearing lip gloss because normally I'm going out to dinner, I'm gonna be like sipping on a drink, sipping on a straw, something like that. And lip gloss is just not conducive to any kind of activity <laughs> where you're eating or drinking. Okay, and finally to set my face, I'm gonna use a setting spray that I used to love. Um, I, I used most of the bottle um, down to like a very little bit at the bottom, which has been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. That is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I was really into this um, until the Morphe setting spray came out and I've pretty much only been using that one since. It's so weird going back to like a regular spray bottle when I'm so used to the Morphe one, it's kind of weird. Okay, and here's the finished look using products I have forgotten about. Some of these are definitely gonna go back into rotation of things I use because I forgot that I like them so much. Like that Real Technique sponge, I really like the way that that put on my foundation and I thought the foundation looked really good too. And then there's some products that are definitely going straight into the garbage can. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.